sinners. It's so hot. Do you feel that sun? It's scorching. It's so dry too. I haven't had anything to drink in such a long time. There's no way anything can survive out here in this place. Oh, rain showers. Yes. Woo-hoo. Oh, so much better. I'll see you back here after the theme song. listening friends thank you for joining me out here in this hot desert which is significantly cooler now that it has just rained but just as quickly as it came it left that didn't last very long if there were anything living out here it still wouldn't survive very long there's not much to drink the water is quickly evaporating (gasps) what do my eyes behold Is that really what I think it is? I've never seen one before. Come closer, let's look. It's a thorny devil. Sounds terrible, but it's a lizard. And it's spiky. It's at a puddle. I wonder what it's doing. Let's watch it. Thorny devils have very dry skin and little spikes, pokes on it. It's kind of how it got its name, thorny devil, because it's looks like it has thorns on it and the devil part I think just because it's so hot it lives in arid places this is strange it's not licking up or lapping at the water it only put its toes in (gasps) do you know what's happening this is incredible it's using its skin to draw up water Normally, we wouldn't think that water can flow against gravity. But in certain situations, water can flow against gravity. The thorny devil has skin in such a way that it can do this. It's called capillary action. Because of water cohesion, the skin somehow draws up water upwards against gravity. The whole lizard is nourished from the water because of this. So it doesn't need to lick up the water because its skin will suck it up. And then the the lizard kind of gets a drink all over because of dipping its toe into the puddle of water. That's amazing. Look, in fact, well, you can't see. I'll describe it. The whole lizard looks more plump more moist, definitely less dry. It almost looks more colorful. Uh, We might say kind of pretty. I guess it depends on who you ask. Thorny devils aren't known for their good looks, but that's amazing. It can suck up water through its toes because of its skin. Fascinating. Let me share a little bit more about thorny devils. Thorny devils can also be called thorny dragons or mountain devils. They grow to about eight inches long, which for an adult hand, if they spread their fingers out from the tip of their thumb on one side to the tip of their pinky on the other is about eight inches. It's not a particularly large lizard. In fact, I think many people would call that a small lizard. They're not very big then. They live in the arid deserts in the interior of Australia. They can live between 6 and 20 years old. It's pretty decent. Now, let me ask you, living out there in the desert, what do you think thorny devils eat? If you guessed tacos, like I would, we would both be wrong. It's not tacos. It's something at the beginning of the alphabet 
crawls around on six. It's an insect. And from what I can research, they only eat those guys. In fact, that's what I see it eating right now. Ants! Thorny devils eat just ants. They're like ant catching specialists. They can consume thousands of them in a day. What they do is they sit in the hot heat. <laughs> hot heat. And as ants pass in front of them, they just eat them. It's very efficient. Don't drive through the drive through at Taco Bell. No, you sit there and let the tacos come to you. There's something wrong with that. It doesn't work. But it would be interesting if it worked that way, right? Just sit there. Here comes the pizza. Now, even though they're small, they have some things to help deal with their smallness. If something gets close, they do this. <laughs> they get all puffed up and they make themselves bigger than they really are. A lot of people do that too. It's all talk, all bark, and no bite. Something else they'll do is they'll walk funny. Sometimes they'll walk, stop, and rock back and forth. And for whatever reason, this somehow seems to conceal them if they're out in the open. So predators don't want to eat them, or maybe they don't notice them as well. There's something to it. Somehow it's a part of their defense mechanism. Either that or they just didn't learn to walk fully. They can also change color. If it's warm out, they'll be more of a yellowish, reddish. You like those ishes? But they can change their colors rapidly, kind of like chameleons. Now, if it's colder weather and they want to warm up, what color do you think they would turn? A lighter color or a darker color? Ding, 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 ding. Darker color because darker colors absorb more heat. So at the beginning of the day, they'll be darker in color. As the day goes on and it gets hotter as the sun rises, they'll change their colors to be lighter. Fascinating. But even though they live in the desert and deserts tend to get very chilly at night and hot during the middle of the day, thorny devils don't really like that. During the hottest parts of the day or the coldest months, they will go to their underground burrows and hang out waiting for better weather. And one more thing about these guys, they have something called a false head. On their shoulders, they have this knobby little area and if they feel threatened or endangered, they can put their head down between their legs and then leaves this sort of false head up. And I guess if you're gonna get attacked, it's better to have a part of your shoulder taken than your whole head, so. Nice job, Thorny Devils, for these defense mechanisms and these ways that you've adapted to survive. Pretty impressive. My favorite is waiting for your food to come to you. <laughs> Listeners, we have some things to announce. Happy birthday. We have three birthdays coming up. Clint, Clint in Pennsylvania. I hope you had a wonderful Wild West kind of year and that the next one is even better. And Ansel, I hope it's awesome, because awesome and Ansel both start with A, and Aramea. Aramea, I've enjoyed your letters. Thank you for sending them. I hope your birthday is amazing. Clint, Ansel, and Aramea, I hope your birthdays are fantastic. Thank you for listening to the show. Thank you for supporting. May this next year be filled with exploration and contentment in the best things in life. I'd also like to thank Benjamin from Australia. Oh, good day, mate. Thanks for joining the podcast team. And Alden. Alden has joined as well. Thank you. I'm grateful that you two have joined and are part of the podcast team. I'm Moose Jaw Matt, signing off from here in Australia where it's hot. I'll find my way out of here. Maybe I can ride a thorny devil. 
Yeehaw! I'm Moose Doll Matt, and until next time, keep exploring your world. <laughs>